Oh, well, chat, we are back. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all doing incredible this fine evening. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. We are hosting the first ever Apex Open Series. I can't wait for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've got 20 teams locked in. 20! Four teams just didn't want the smoke, did they? They just didn't want the smoke. Everyone, contestants, ready up. We're going to be diving in. As soon as you see my face again, we'll be going for it. I'll speak to you guys in a second. All right, chat. We are back. It's absolutely ready for it. And uh, I'm telling... I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. All right? Sharky, relax. It's all good. I, I do apologize. All right? Production was a little slow on my end. All right? We've got 75 uh, people in production in the other room. Listen, I'm giving them a, I'm giving them a knock. All right? I've given them a knock. Tell them to uh, to hurry up. But yeah, Kroon, you give me a shout if you've got anything... Uh, you got any, any of the action. All right? But we've got people diving in already. Holy... Ladies and gentlemen, it's already going wild. We've got people absolutely sending it. Chat, absolutely sending it already. And you absolutely do love to see some of this right now. We've got people going left, right, and center. We've got the mid preds, Hexus Gaming, Blue Oyster, Goward Guys, Blackberry, Sokotota, Eco Esports, DWI. I'm telling you. It's all looking at juicy right now. We're just going to dive into some of the action. We're going to keep a close eye on every single one of these teams right now. And I'm going to try my best, chat, without getting too excited. Because you know what? You know what I'm like, chat? All right? You do know what I'm like. I get a little bit carried away. But this is game number one. This is going to set up these teams for the majority of their tournament right now, okay? And we, uh, we're going to be keeping as much eyes on the action as possible we've never seen this amount of players in a dsu tournament before chat I'm, I'm so excited i've kind of got goosebumps all right but we want to see how they're playing this out are people going to be playing a little bit passive are they going to be going for those early game kills we'll wait and see but the first zone is there and people are, they're getting locked in right now chat they're getting absolutely locked in and by the sounds of it and by the looks of it we've got teams already going for it and here's one that we have seen many many times before and it is a privilege to shout cast over these guys every time we'd see them it's smash glass massive members of the dsg community we've got 1864 postman pat insanity h2k and we know that these guys can uh, they, these guys can do some damage all right we're gonna be keeping a a, a nice close eye on uh, some of the favorites some of the brand new teams that we've never seen before all right we've got we've got a range a, an absolute range chat of uh, of ranks, by the way, going into this tournament, it's, it's going to be wild. Uh, but yeah, crew, keep me updated with any uh, any of the shots that you get, and I'll be diving into some of these uh, POVs right now. We've got the time trials already getting locked off from Team Havoc. This is honestly on World's Edge. This is probably one of the best spots that you can uh, claim early doors. I think having the control over the uh, the big loot pools is just going to set you up for that end game even stronger. Uh, we've got Psycho wrote code name and Ray. Big shout out to you guys, by the way. Brand new to the DSG uh, tournament. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself there. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dive over to what looks to be a little bit of a, uh, of a scrap going on, chat. We've got the Smash Glass boys right now. Absolutely sending it towards an enemy team. We've got Insanity going for it. Let's dive on into his gameplay here. We've got the POV happening from Insanity H2K. This guy's already getting involved. Chat, he's getting involved. Nice little reposition here going on from Smash Glass. We've got shots going out from uh, Postman Pat and 1864. Sorry, we're going to be diving into the gameplay right now. We've got Postman Pat following up with the flatline. Is it going to be enough to get the shots? And no, it's not there. It does go down. Oh, no. Chat. That is not what you want to see here. We've got Insanity last alive, and he's going to be dipping out of this situation very quickly, chat. Very quickly. It is the Blue Oyster boys that have taken the kills here, gone out of this very strong. Two kills to their name, and that is two points on the, the leaderboards right now, chat. Oof. Early doors, chat. We were singing praises over Smash Glass, and now all they can rely on is the power of Insanity uh, securing themselves that placement, and oof. I tell you what, chat, these early game fights, are, they're, they're juicy. You know what I'm saying, chat? They're juicy. <laughs> Honestly, it's all getting a little bit crazy already. Good luck to them. Let's dive on over to, the, to what looks to be, again, the kill leaders right now, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Team Havoc. Already secured themselves a, uh, a team kill by the looks of it. Heirlooms are in full flex right now. We've got Mr. Codename as the sir. He knows what's going on right now, ladies and gentlemen. He is ready to rock and roll. 
And uh, yeah, we, we're just going to be vibesing. We're going to be keeping a close eye on. I say we go there. Wow's this chap. Let's flick through some of these teams right now. We've got mid... What? Look at this chat. Mid Preds. Going for that little bit of uh, sneaky action right now, by the looks of it. As you can see, teams spread long and far right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's already getting a little bit sketchy for the majority of these teams. But shots are going off right now. Shots are going off and it looks like mid-preds are going to be approaching quickly. What is happening right now, chat? we got shots going out left, right, and center. And it looks like the uh, mid-preds are going to be third party in this real quick right now. As you can see, Dustin, he's going to be taking the shots with the R9, diving into this. And that is it. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to what we have just witnessed right there. An absolute third party at its finest, chat. At its finest. The shots again going to be going out. Dharma again to follow up. And wow. Team wipes just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Absolute madness. As you can see right now, we've got Insanity who last alive for a smash glass. And he's going to be trying to get out of there. But this could be very, very dangerous right now. Oh, no. It is definitely, definitely not what you want to see at this point. But it's getting scary. It's getting scary. He's trying to dip out. He's trying to escape. But he just does go down there. GG's going out to smash glass. Very unfortunate. But wow. Wow. It's gonna get it's gonna catch up as soon as they see that rat, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna be getting these teams absolutely diving in, trying to pick up on those extra points on the leaderboard. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable at the end of at the end of the day. Wowzers. It's already off to a madness, chat. It's already off to a madness. And we're gonna be diving onto the map right now. Keeping a close eye on every single one of these guys. Seeing who's fighting, and by the looks of it, looks like we got something going on right here. Blue oyster, the kill leaders. Diving in. Drone detected and uh oh the crack's happening right there from the crypto. It's definitely not what you want as an attacking team. And now the Sims gonna be pushing on. We've got Blackberry right now following up. And oh, the R9 spray down is happening here from Nico, but is it gonna be enough? Yes, it is. And he goes for the finisher. The finisher. Wow, chat. This guy's got some absolute steel down there. If you know what I'm talking about. Wow. Chat. Wow, Blackberry clear up like that. And, and, and honestly, that was beautiful. The the Seer ult combined with the Crypto ult was, uh, was a little bit of a joke there. Cracking it. Majority of those team members, you absolutely hate to see it, to be honest. We've got teams absolutely destroying each other right now. Who is going to be taking game number one? We're super excited to see this one. Savage, Hopeful, and Nico have just absolutely cleared up. Chat. They're playing. You know, a lot of these teams are playing really... Uh, Conservative right now, going for those third parties. Waiting for the fights to come to them. It's getting juicy. It's getting juicy indeed. What we got here, ladies and gentlemen? Let's dive over. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce that, so we're going to call him Head right now. We got Jansen, Spaghetti Mafia. These guys are going to be uh, engaging right now to what looks to be Team Genetics. The GNX boys. These guys have got the spotlight on them right now. As you can see, the GNX boys are going to be repositioning. We've got a beautiful angle here coming in from Kroon. And uh, yeah, these guys don't want the smoke right now. They're trying to find a little bit of a better position in the zone. Going for that left side flank right now. Heading to try and find some cover. But they do have teams surrounding them. This is getting juicy, chat. As this zone gets a little bit smaller, it's going to be getting tougher and tougher to find a good position. And by the looks of it, the Bank Horizon Seer combination is just exactly what you want for this map. Beautiful, beautiful stuff right now. And uh, GNX, you know, they're a brand new team to the DSG tournaments, man. I'm excited to see what these guys bring to the table. We've already seen people going wild and just stomping as soon as they, uh, they land on a team. Who is going to be taking home that top spot? It's getting intense right now, chat. It's getting absolutely intense. So we've got shots going out towards the center of the zone. So let's have a little look. Right now, we've got the junkie Asus boys right now. Taking shots with a 30-30 repeater. Oh, the Watson ult is down, chat. 
These guys are in a very nice position, holding it down. We got Stark, Suka, and by the looks of it, I'm going to call him Altush. You guys have got some crazy names, man. You've got to make these names a little bit easier to pronounce. <laughs> Absolute mad stuff. Mad stuff indeed. But look at that. Just look at how secure the Watson Orc can be right now. Like, at top of a building, especially in World's Edge, surrounded by teams. But no team wants to push him right now, chat. It's definitely not what you want to see. But, oof, we definitely do have a little cheeky, cheeky fight going on by the looks of it towards the top of this hill. We're going to keep a close eye on some of these uh, north side teams right now because there's a little bit of a scrap going on. Shots are going out left, right, and center. We've got the gouge guys absolutely sending it. They're just chilling. Look at this chat. We've got the maddest things going on right now. We're going to dive straight back into the action by the looks of it. And, uh, ooh. Crafting going on. The gouge guys have uh, they've taken a nice position here. A little uh little little bit of a slower gameplay here from these guys, but it's definitely what you want going into game to one. There's only nine squads left, but still with 25 players left in the game, every single death of one of these squads counts, man. They're gonna be getting points on the leaderboard, and they can take that through into game number two and game number three. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. You know, honestly, I'm uh, I'm excited. I want to see who's taking this top spot. We've got teams in the zone already. The Blackberry boys. We saw these guys clutch up massively before as well. Like, we saw these guys going for it. They're going to be taking that jump jump tower, trying to get themselves a bit better of a position. And let's see how this plays out. Look, I have it. Look, you tell you what, I absolutely love it. I've got Kroon in my ear, like absolute wolfy, supplying the camera angles for us right now. And as you can see, the uh, reposition happening right now from Team Blackberry. They are taking a little bit of zone damage here, but these guys are going to be playing it a lot safer. And that's exactly what you should be doing at this point in the game. Still, nine squads. No one really wants to engage right now. We're seeing very high-end lobbies. And uh, it's going to be a battle. It's definitely going to be a battle as we go into the uh, the final zones here. Let's keep a close eye on uh, on Team Blackberry right now, diving into their POV. And I'm, I'm happy to see people are playing the new character chat. I'm really happy to see that. Nobdy, welcome to the stream, by the way. I hope you're doing incredible today. But yeah, we're going to keep hopping through these uh, these camera angles right now. Oh, by the looks of it, chat, we've got a little bit of a scrap going on. Little bit of a scrap going on right now from the mid-preds, boys. These guys are uh, trying to secure it. We've got Dustin and Dharma and Darine. They've just managed to get the res off. And uh, now they're trying to hold it down. They're going to go for that reposition now away from the enemy team below. We've got Junkie. Oh, by the looks of it, getting third party chat. There's a third party happening right now on Junkie. We've got Suka trying to secure himself some meds by the looks of it. Do you have the uh, the Watson ult down? And these guys are going to be holding it down in this uh, in this tight secure spot. But wow, chat. It's all it's all going mad right now. Look at the state of this. Look how secure the Watson ult can get you right there. You know the third parties are flying in. These guys are calm. These guys are collected. They're just chilling. All they need is that Watson ult down, a few fences to secure the doors. And they have the advantage right now. They have the massive, massive advantage right now. Micro Jones going out from the Seer, but is this going to be enough? They may have the advantage, but they've also got absolutely crazy teams pushing. Go for the kills. They know they need these points on the leaderboard. The Arne spray down happening from Stark. This building they've secured for a long time now. 22 players left, and they're still managing to hold it down. There's someone over there. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing a little bit more action over here from the. Uh, let's have a look from the mid pred boys right now. Let's dive straight over to some more action. We've got Savage, Nico. And the gang with a little bit of a scrap. Nico needs to pop that medkit off. Savage and Hopeful managing to get themselves back into the game here. A lot of these teams do have the kills. As you can see, they need to just try and secure themselves a little bit of a better position. Because uh majority of these teams right now in the center zone. Trying to uh, just hold it down. These guys are going to be just clearing up. Getting as much loot as possible and going into this end game strong. That's all they need right now, chat. 
That's all they need. Hope for giving us a little, uh, giving us a little dance show here. <laughs> you absolutely love to see it. Savage as well. I tell you what, some of these players that we're seeing tonight, legendary players, by the way. I aspire to be this good on Apex chat. I absolutely do. Gonna dive over straight away. Crewing with the comms right now. He's gonna be uh, giving us a little bit of action by the looks of it. We've got teams fighting left, right, and center right now. Dustin and the boys. I tell you what, these mid pred boys, they're, they're not scared of it right now. Holding a little bit of a weird position, low ground. And now going to be rotating around the side of this building. The, these guys just trying to not get caught out. They've definitely got that game sense right now. Might be something good this way. As you can see, a nice reposition here happening. Let's dive straight on over to these boys right now. As you can see, Extinguisher, the DWI boys. They're, get, they're going to be engaging right now, chat. And as you can see... A lot of stuff is happening, but they found themselves a nice reposition. The bang all is going to be going out, and they're now underneath. Zuka and the boys also holding him, but by the looks of it, bang all's doing a little bit of damage here. These guys are securing a nice position underneath, and we're going to be keeping a close eye on this right now. This is beautiful, beautiful repositioning here going on from the DWI boys. How is this going to play out for them right now? Third party's coming in from all over right now, chat. <laughs> Absolutely all over. It's going wild. We're diving straight back into the DWI POV. Flatlines across the board right now, chat. DWI with that covering fire. I've taken a little bit of damage here, but no, it's not. None of these guys healing up to full. This is high level gameplay right now. Shots going out again from the uh, enemy team here, the Junkie Aces guys. They do have the uh, the ult down there. The Watson ult is going to be securing themselves a little bit of a better uh, of a better position here. We've got so much going on right now, chatting this little bit of a little fight here. I'm going to dive straight back over to the Junkie Aces guys because these guys are going wild right now. Still with this Watson ult down. Enemy team trying to push over, but the score pierce of 107 is definitely not what you want to see as an enemy team here. DWI trying to reposition. The Valk goes up, but is this going to be enough right now? Going for that push, and uh, Palak's trying to get up, but can't really secure himself a better position here. He's going to be trying to do a little bit of damage, but still has a nice position. These guys are just going to be playing the safe. They do not want to go down at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Extinguisher manages to get that shield upgrade there, and he's out, chat. He is out. It is getting, right now, crazy, chat. We're going to dive over to Clutchy and the Hexus Gaming, boys. It looks like they've just uh, just finished the fight, but... Oh, no. The Seer is cracking right now, ladies and gentlemen. Horizon is down, and Clutchy needs to get this bat off. Shots to follow. Mad Maggie's going wild right now. He's trying to get the bat off again. Playing his shield. This is a very sticky situation to be in. Crazy with the follow-up. It's going to go down there. And Clutchy's last alive. Trying to hold it down behind the shield. Mike Maggie ultimate goes down. And he's trying to get off the med kit. Does have the shield swap. He's playing the shield right now. And this is perfect. It's a 1v1 situation right now. Clutchy, he's going for it. The Mad Maggie ult does go down. He's following up. This is wild. Pops the res as well. Chat, this is crazy. We've got Dama as well popping the bat. And now the res is up and the Hexis boys are taking the advantage right now. Clutchy again, taking a little bit of damage. Kuro's popping that bat and he's got the red shield. Here we go. He's going to be taking that horizon up, throwing it down and repositioning it happening at left, right and center. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolutely crazy fight. They've managed to get the res up on Kuro. Clutchy is still going for it. Chat, I'm, 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 I'm losing my mind right now. This is absolutely mental. Uh, and by the look, by the looks of the camera that that, that Crew just did, it is bloody mental. Exactly how I feel, Crew. Caps has gone down. Kuro taking a little bit of damage here, and there's now six squads remaining. Trying to pop that bat off, but no, they're going to be repositioned. Whoa! Did you see that chat? Did you see? Did you see that box wedged in the middle of the door? That is ridiculous. Kuro and Clutchy, you guys have done an incredible job to get out of this. The Seer Cube ability has gone out, but 
the scan has not picked anyone up and we're now going into our final final circle ladies and gentlemen this is getting more and more intense i cannot believe what is happening right now and this is a perfect angle to overview here as you can see from Kroon. we've got teams all over the show trying to hold off Clutchy and Kuro. Clutchy does go down there. Kuro then again to follow up. He is last alive with diving into his POV right now and he clears up that team. Kuro for Hex is gaming. Oh my lord, baby. You love to see that, chat. Wow. Kuro, last alive. We're going to be diving straight back into the overview right now and oh baby. That is what gets me excited right now. That is what gets me excited about the DSG Open Series chat. When we see things like that, Kuro has just earned himself onto the highlights right now. And he's still taking a little bit of damage, but he's going to be repositioning. He knows where the teams are. And this is wild right now. Ladies and gentlemen, he's getting that push off. The Q ability does go out. Trying to pop the bat. Look at this chat. He's popping the bat. He's diving in towards the smoke. The mind game's playing from Kuro right now. But another team is there. He's trying to reposition. This is so dangerous right now. Oh my god, Kuro! What is happening? What is happening from this man? He's doing everything he can to survive right now. And it's not going to be enough. Havoc takes him out of the game. But Kuro, we have got to give props where it's due. That was absolutely insane, my friend. You have just done a madness. The movement was on point. He takes himself the fourth position there. And right now we're in the overview and this is it. Final three teams right now locked in. This is going to get juicy, chat. Who is going to be taking game number one? I can't believe what I'm witnessing. We're, we're, we're seeing spray downs happening from left, right and center right now. We're going to be diving over to the DWI boys because it's, it's all getting a bit crazy. It's, it's honestly all getting a bit crazy right now. Chat, I can't even... I, I, my mind's going wild. DWI and the boys holding down this low ground right now. The uh, the bank smoke does go out there to give them a little bit of extra cover. But we're going to again have to dive out into this uh, full view because the shots are going to be going out right now from left, right, and center. The bank ult to follow. The nades are going to be following up. And these guys are going to be uh, trying to get themselves out of a bit of a sticky situation here. The shots again to follow. Extinguisher. Palach and Rara are going for it. The third party here to finalize game number one. The shots are going to be going out. Extinguisher does go down. But Rara to follow up. Palach still alive as well. Chat, this is wild. This is absolutely wild. We're seeing the final moments here. Sokuru going for that push. Is this going to be it, ladies and gentlemen? A 1v1 for the final moments. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Stark nearly takes it. But Havoc are going to be taking home game number one. Massive, massive GGs to every single one of these players right now. That was incredible, chat. Wow. Havoc there deserves game number one. I tell you what, we saw some crazy, crazy plays there. Psychoro at the end, just securing that win. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. And big shout out to you, Kroon. Those camera angles were wild that game, bro.